Al Barnum has been a member of the Oregon House since 2017. Now the legislator and co-owner of four McDonald's restaurants in Clackamas County and Portland is running for Congress. She's looking to unseat freshman Republican Congresswoman Lori Chavez de Reamer in Oregon's 5th Congressional District. The 5th District includes the southeast suburbs of Portland, the majority of Clackamas County, parts of Marion and all of Lynn County, and it goes all the way to Bend. Bynum is not the only strong Democrat in the race. She'll first have to defeat Jamie McLeod Skinner, who Chavez de Reamer narrowly defeated in 2022, and Metro Council President Lynn Peterson. Janelle Bynum, thanks for coming back to Eye on Northwest Politics. Thanks for having me. You've already picked up the endorsement from Governor Kotek, who you did challenge as House Speaker when you were both in the legislature. Why do you think that Governor Kotek has endorsed you? Well, I'm honored uh, that she chose to endorse me along with Congresswoman Salinas and Congresswoman Bonamici and a host of others around the state. I think people know my track record for success. They know that I'm a problem solver. And uh, what is equally important are the voices of Oregonians around the state, up and down I-5 and across the state um, that have told me that I'm the problem solver that can get things done in Washington. I have a track record of listening, of working across the aisle, getting things done, and I'll continue to do that in Congress. The 5th District leans slightly Democratic and would have voted for Joe Biden had the 5th existed with its current boundaries before it was redrawn from the 2020 census. Uh, why do you feel it's important that a Democrat take the seat back? More importantly, Janelle Bynum should take the seat back. Uh, we all know that Washington is broken. Republican extremists have taken over, uh, stoking culture wars and stalling our government processes. And so this is personal for me. I have a track record of serving a very purple district, just like uh, CD5. I've beaten the incumbent freshman lawmaker twice. And uh, Lori Chavez de Reamer has shown a willingness to rubber stamp the craziness that's happening in Washington. And Oregonians have said enough. So uh, it's important that someone like me with a strong track record of being a problem solver and someone who can reach across the aisle serves the residents of CD5, uh, which is equally uh, Democrats, Republicans and non-affiliated voters. You talk about reaching across the aisle. I want you to hear what uh, Chavez de Reamer told us a couple of months ago on this show about bipartisanship. I want to get your reaction. People are expecting me to reach across the aisle and I, I should be held accountable for that. And so I have a good track record of doing just that. But not only with the Oregon delegation, I'm doing that with other members of Congress as well. How do you respond to that? No one in the Oregon legislature or uh, and uh, with uh, Lori Chavez de Reamer has done it better than Janelle Bynum. I've uh, just recently worked um, to pass one of Oregon's largest uh, economic investments with the Oregon CHIPS Act. I helped pass 23 police accountability bills. I helped make sure that we protect reproductive rights. I've done all of those things better than anyone else on, uh, on the ballot, and especially better than Lori Chavez de Reamer could ever dream of doing. What would be your priority should you be elected in the 5th District? Up and down I-5 and across the state, voters have told me that housing is a priority for them. Uh, mental health supports are priorities, as well as infrastructure uh, investments. So in order to build housing, we need water, we need sewer, we need roads. Um, and then, you know, one Redmond City Councilor told me that her city was neither the place to have a baby nor a mental health breakdown because they absolutely just didn't even have the services. So making sure that people have access to reproductive health services, that they have access to the mental health that they need, uh, those are the things that are uh, bubbling up to the top in my conversations with Oregonians, uh, both in person and over the phone across the state. You plan to serve out the rest of your legislative term through the end of 2024. The legislature has a short session coming up this February. What do you expect to tackle during that session? Well, in the Small Business and Economic Development Committee, we'll be working on clean energy jobs, making sure that we build on the investment that we made um, with the CHIPS Act. We'll also be looking at infrastructure investments, uh, making sure that broadband uh, is implemented properly. 
um, and the legislature will also look at um, measure 110 imp implementation in a separate committee and I support the work that they're doing. What do you think about Measure 110? Uh, we're going to be talking about that in the second half of this program. Uh, do you think it's been working and how do you think it needs to be changed in order for it to work better? Well, voter approved Measure 110 um, proves it, it tells us a couple of things. Number one, Oregonians are compassionate people. Number two, it also told the legislature that the people were hungry for a certain approach. And it's not the legislature's job to question the people. It's the legislature's job to implement the will of the people. That's in our Constitution. That's in the, the way that our state was founded. Those are fundamental um, processes that the legislature must honor. And so I, I believe in the structure that has been set up uh, by our leadership. And I believe that Oregonians have said, hey, we want a compassionate uh, response to drug treatment and addiction, but we also want to make sure um, as small business owners, as parents, that our, our streets are safe and that our loved ones are cared for and our children are not harmed by people um, in crisis. Uh, one more question. Uh, we've got about a minute left. Uh, do you support continued aid for Israel in its current war with Hamas? As a mom, my heart breaks um, for what I've been seeing um, in that part of the world. Um, the attacks on October 7th gave us all pause, and I support the president um, in his work to be an ally, uh, a strong ally to Israel. I also support making sure that innocent civilians' um, lives are um, treated with dignity and respect and um, the, the human rights atrocities are um, addressed appropriately. Janelle Bynum, uh, thank you for joining Ion Northwest Politics. My pleasure, thank you.